good morning welcome to my talk on the concise common workflow language or ccwl first off i'd like to acknowledge uh, pewter prints for funding the initial uh, development of ccwl so what is ccwl ccwl is a workflow domain specific language written in scheme that compiles to the common workflow language it comes with a concise syntax that is almost as easy to write as a shell script or makefile Uh, and no yaml is necessary ccwl uh, has helpful uh, compile time error messages so you can uh, detect problems early uh, even before you run your workflows if ccwl produces a poor quality error message uh, we consider that a bug and uh, fix it immediately since ccwl uh, compiles to cwl you can use all your fa- favorite cwl runners to run these workflows in your environment of choice this wl is already quite usable um it has been used in real world uh, bioinformatics specifically pan genomics workflows um these workflows were run on hpc using toil the bulk of the stock is a live demo or a tour of ccwl so let's get started first off let me write a hello world workflow that simply takes a message and prints it to standard output so first define a command which takes one input called message which is of type string and prints it to standard output using the echo command we collect it in a variable called printed message of type standard output Now let us try to compile this workflow. There we are. That's the CWL. Let's write it to hello world dot CWL, and let's try to run it. Oh, sorry. It should be CWL. Yeah. Um. It of course takes one input, which is the message. So let us pass foo bar as the message. Now the workflow should run, and we have the output in this file. So get that file, and we see foo bar. Um, that's great. Now let's move on to a slightly more complicated workflow. So this is a this workflow uh, it has three steps so it takes uh, the uh, compressed a uh, compressed c source file as input decompresses it compiles it using gcc and then runs it so here's what it looks like you see the first decompress step um it uh, decompresses the source file using gzip and then the compile step which compiles the c source using gcc and captures the output as uh, output a dot out finally we run the executable and capture the uh, standard output of the executable um since these three commands are run in sequence we use um ccwl construct known as uh, pipe uh, that simply um runs one command after the other um so this final paragraph is the overall workflow description now let's try to run it and let's try to first compile it so ccwl compile of scheme we get a lot of cwl that's um 74 lines of cwl let's write it to a file now let us try to run it. it takes one input of course which is the compressed c source file this one i have in this folder um a c source file that i prepared earlier it is just a simple um, one liner basically that prints uh, hello world so i will pass that source file as the compressed source input to this workflow oh 
oops yeah the C compiler requires an environment variable so let us pass preserve entire, entire environment so that it works there we go this is the output and you see the output hello world in the file yeah next up we try to uh, we look at this workflow which has three which takes a file and computes three different hashes of, the, of that same file so uh, you see here that there are three arms to the workflow three arms or three branches to the workflow and uh, uh, in principle they can all be run in parallel the um, ccwl source for the for the workflow looks something like this so first we have the three command uh, definitions one for md5 sum sha on sum and then the last one for sha256 uh, each one of them take a file as input run a hash command and capture the standard output finally we wire these up together using uh, this workflow description um, here since these are uh, parallel or branched steps uh, we use the ccwl construct known as t um, and then we just specify md5 sum sha1 sum and sha256 sum let us try to compile this workflow it seems to work now we run it needs one input the file let us just pass the compressed source that we had earlier this is so there we go that there are three outputs this one this one and this one they're all in the current directory TF so let's look at D99 first, that's one. TF another. AD24 is another, yeah. And finally, let us look at a more complex workflow. So here we have a spell check workflow. It takes two inputs, a text file and a dictionary. The text file contains the text to be spell checked a dictionary contains a list of correctly spelled words um, as you can see that this, uh, this is a uh, workflow with more complex connections it has two separate branches and then they need to be combined in the find misspelling step let's see how we can specify we can describe this workflow in ccwl syntax so um, first off we have the individual commands split words, down case, sort, find misspellings and so on. We need to put all this together into a workflow like I just showed you. So let's keep this open on the side. Yeah. Now let's actually um, write a workflow description. So we have uh, two inputs. One is the dictionary which is of type file and the other is a text file of type file let's first uh, code uh, this branch of the workflow uh, this is a sequence of three sequential steps so we use the pipe construct split words split words uh, takes an input known as text so we say text to which we pass this text file so text file next step is the down case so down case takes an input known as words and it must take the output words from the split word step so say words words yeah. then the third step is the sort word step which for which we call the sort command. 
cut you can see here that the sort command has an input known as words to which we will pass down case words so words down case words so that's this branch now let's code the other branch which is sort dictionary so again we use the sort command and for words we pass dictionary and note that now we have two invocations of the sort command so we need to distinguish these two steps so we will call this the sort words this is how we specify an identifier for this step and then we will specify sort dictionary here yeah. likewise we also need to rename these out the outputs of these steps so that they don't collide so the sort step has an output known as sorted that we will rename to sorted words so sorted becomes sorted words like this here sorted dictionary sorted becomes sorted dictionary so now we have uh, coded these two uh, branches separately we combine them using a t because they are two separate arms or two separate branches there you go finally we need to invoke the find misspellings command find misspellings find misspellings takes two inputs words and dictionary to words we pass in sorted words and to dictionary we pass in sorted dictionary finally connect everything up using a pipe because the find misspellings occurs after both these branches so that's it that's the workflow description let's try to actually compile and run this ccw will compile spell check yeah write it to spell check you can also quickly check that we got the uh, graph correct by converting to a graph is uh, visualization there you go yeah seems to be correct finally let us run Surprisingly, there are two inputs dictionary and text file. I have here a um, text file, it has one sentence with uh, one misspelled word lazy, and here's a short dictionary that has all the uh, spellings that we need. So, let's pass this to the workflow. Yeah. All the steps have run, and we have uh, the final output in the in the misspelled words file. Let's catch that, and you see that there is one that we have found the one misspelled word. That's all I have for now. Thank you for listening. Bye bye.